Now let's talk about adding subreports. Remember, in our backend database, there are relationships. Because there are relationships between data, there could also be relationships between reports. When there is this relationship, they're called subreports. And there's different ways of presenting the subreports to the user using Crystal. Now, we're going to start this by opening up a file. And I'm going to navigate into my C drive here. And it's very, very slow. It is spinning. I'll pause until I can get there. So we're going to navigate into our Adding Subreports folder here. And we're going to open up our US Customers. Now, notice we have suppliers and customers. So there probably is going to be a relationship uh, between them. So let's go to customers. Oops, I didn't pick that up. There we go. And let's preview this uh, before we do anything, just so we can have a look. And we are going to pick up our ODC. So in Florida, we have two customers. In Miami, we have three customers. Makes perfect sense. Now, let's go back. We are going to insert a sub-report. Where do you want to put this sub-report? Well, the sub-report is a report that's already been made. Right? Already been made. All we have to do is bring it in here. Now, if you'll notice across the top, we have lots of our little choices. And this little button here allows us to bring the other element in. And we're going to bring it in. And where are we going to put it? Are we going to put it in the group footer? Well, that would make sense. Or we could do a new grouping. Let's insert a subreport and find our next choice. That's being real slow. That where is the subreport and are we going to link the subreport? Well, let's go to the link. What are we going to do it? Let's go find it. And it's come on. It's our suppliers. Very slow. Very very slow. and U.S. suppliers. Now, where's the relationship? What's the link? We're going to scroll down here and do it on region. So we have two components, right? Customer region, it's going to be linked to region. That makes sense. And let's say OK. Now, Notice it's attached. We're going to put it in this group footer area. And let's go ahead and preview that. Wait for a moment. Now, Florida doesn't have any suppliers. Hmm. But MI does. And let's go next. So we do realize that we can suppress if blank, correct? Yes, we know that. Let's go back to design. Now within here, we can put a line in here to separate things. Um, we can just make a border around this as well. We can do a variety of things. I'm going to choose a line. And I'm going to put a line across this. Now, with that line selected, it's very difficult to see. I can right click and I can format that line. I'm going to make mine red, make it a little thicker. So that will stand out very, very easy. And that's the end of the first part 
of this activity.